As a child, I told my father I wanted to die at the same time as him, so I would not have to experience existing on this earth in his absence. He said he did too, so he called me Sunny Bunny to curse my pain. Blue-eyed, blonde-haired, sad girl. There is not much innocence left when every day you believe someone else's death will be yours too. Drinking fear with some red wine on the side. My lungs are weak, but I can't help but feel at home in the smoke. Creativity has never been a choice. It's a vessel. Not to let the trauma swallow my soul. Balance, you say? What balance? It seems as if you've been falling into infinitum, and I don't want to follow you anymore. I landed. I crashed. I fell from the above. You cast me up so high and kicked me out of the house. I can no longer be your child, and I'm not ready to be a woman. I fall into the abyss of passion and the cycle of the phoenix takes place. Psychological torment somehow taught me invaluable lessons on human behavior. I have patience, but I am brash. I am made of flesh just like you. We give and we take, and somehow, into your clear blue eyes I look, and you know I know it's okay, that it will be fine, that somehow we have impacted each other in a violent way. By violent, I mean with an in, with an unimaginable force, one that almost should not be permitted to exist. One day, I will live in a world absent of you and the flesh, and just as I do now, I will walk through it, eager and hungry for all that awaits me in the unknown. Not every day, but every day I will live for those moments, potent and euphoric, believing, trusting, accepting. The waves are part of life and I wouldn't want it any other way. You can't sail far without the wind, and I don't want to stay here forever.